General Electric announcing a $1.4 billion contract to supply turbines to an Oregon wind farm that will be the largest in the U.S. And with us this morning is a man tasked with building those turbines. He is Steve Boltz, uh, Chief Executive of General Electric's Power and Water Division. And Steve, great to have you with us here. Great to be here. Thank you. Okay. So Soros, not crazy about right. wind power. I'm sure you've not heard, you've heard arguments like that before. We like wind. You obviously you like wind. Uh, why, you know, for this project that you're announcing, why is the size of this farm so important for GE? Just to give you a sense, 1.4 billion dollar contract. We're going to deliver 338 wind turbines, but it also has a 10-year service agreement. But in context, this is our largest wind turbine contract we've signed this year, and third largest in our history since we've been in the business back since 2002. So it is significant. The uh, wind park will be in Oregon, mm -hmm. but the power is actually going to go into California. And when you think about how much clean energy power will be provided when it comes up and running, this will be the largest single wind park in the United States, and 235,000 households in California will have clean power. What's the, well, what's the cost differential then for them? If you look at it, the cost differential, wind power typically is still more expensive than your basic thermal power, be that nuclear, gas, sure. or many of the other areas. Solar, which uh, Mr. Soros talked about, is more expensive. Yeah. And, uh, but still, if you look at how customers look at it, they want a diversity of offerings. So some thermal power, some renewable power. Okay, and actually speaking about solar, I know that your boss has talked a bit about <laughs> GE maybe considering going into, uh, you know, considering entering into uh, a solar power possibly by the end of this year. At least that decision could be made by the end of this year. We're only a few weeks away from that. Uh, any, further, uh, any further clarification on whether or not GE would go into that? You know, we've made investments in our solar business. Uh, over a year ago, we made an investment in a thin film technology for solar. Our view on solar is that uh, it just needs to become more cost competitive, and that's really in technology differentiation. That's where we're investing. We also have steam turbines, which are used with uh, some of the thermal solar power in the world. But how big do you want to be in this space or not? You know, over time, we'd like to be north of a billion dollars. If you look at when we got in this biggest back in 2002, it scaled up over tenfold, and now it's over a $6 billion business for us. So we'd like to see our clean energy sides of our business become a larger part of the company. Okay, and you're number two, I believe, right now behind the other company, Vestas uh, Worldwide. We'll see how the finder numbers come out this year, but uh, you know we're one of the major players in wind turbines around the world. We're the largest in the U.S., and one out of every two units in the U.S. are from GE. Okay, Steve, thank you so much for stopping by here at Bloomberg. Thank Steve you very Bolt much. Really appreciate it. Of GE.